once one of you asked me to make a video on how to wrap gifts in a way that will look presentable and so today I have not only tips and tricks and just ways to wrap gifts for you but I also have some last minute gift ideas. I made a video where I actually talked about gifts for everyone that you can buy right now and it's easy and simple so I'm gonna link that down below. I'm gonna be wrapping gifts that I actually have for my friends and family so if you are indeed my friend and family do not watch this video because you don't want to ruin the surprise so click out and you can watch it after Christmas so yeah without any further ado let's jump right into the video. So first you're obviously gonna need some wrapping paper then some ribbon name tags bows and scissors and some boxes and some bags so maybe you're not going to need all of it, but that's what I'm going to be using, so just so you know. And moving on to the first idea, it's to fill slippers with tiny cosmetics and wrap them with this beautiful bow. So I had some little samples of some beauty stuff like moisturizer, you know, shower gel and all that kind of stuff. So you just put that inside the cute slippers and then you're going to create this awesome bow. So first you're just going to... Put the bow around it and tie it as you would your shoelaces, just the classic knot, you know? And that's the first thing, and you could just tie it actually completely like your shoelaces, or you can do this super cute bow. And now I don't know how to explain it, but if, if you watch it, it's pretty obvious what you have to do. So you just take the ribbon and you fold it like this, and you can fold it as many times as you want. And then you just cut it with the scissors and you secure it in place with the bow that you already placed in on the slippers. So you just tie that around it. And you can just pull it apart a little bit, make it look pretty and all nice. And then you can just cut it like this if you want to be a little extra, and BAM! I think it looks super freaking cute, it's awesome. Next thing is to put products like this in a tiny box. I feel like giving people tiny things like this into cute little boxes is also a great idea, and like if you have a few gifts like this for a person and you're like, I don't know how to wrap them all together, a tiny box like this is the perfect idea because you can just put it in there and you don't have to bother with wrapping it. The next thing that we're going to be putting into this cool postal office box are socks or a skirt. So I have the skirt for my sister. And so you can just put that inside the box or you can put the socks inside the box. <laughs> and it looks super cute and you maybe don't have the boxes. So like if you can't buy them, you can of course wrap it normally. But if you can buy them, it's great because it's cute and it makes everything so much easier. And yeah. Next, we're going to move on to wrapping gifts. The first is the easiest thing, a classic little box. So if you don't know how much wrapping paper you're gonna need, you're just gonna have to turn the gift completely around and once you do this you will have the perfect size. Again, I'm terrible at explaining it, I'm sorry. Yeah, then you just wrap it As for folding the paper here, I recommend you to do it in these like triangles. You fold it like this into like the two triangles from triangles from both sides, and then the remaining paper that's there, you just like put it up onto the gift and then you just secure it with tape. You do the same thing on the other side and bam, it looks great. Then you're just gonna take 
the ribbon and you can wrap it around professionally like this or you can just put the little bow on it as you want. So here again, you just knot it to secure it in place and then you can take your scissors, make it look all pretty like this and here you go. If you don't have this kind of ribbon or if you don't want to bother, again, you can just put the bow on it, which I'm going to do actually in this next gift, which are going to be books. So I have three books here. One of them is slightly bigger, but that wasn't really a problem. So you do the same thing again. And here it's like it created those triangles and it had more space between but that's totally fine because you can just fold it like this, fold it up and it's all good. And then you tape it again and yeah, books are the best to, to wrap because she's awesome. Then here my mom folded the tape like this so she could put it on the bow and tape it onto the gift. And if usually those bows have like glue underneath or you can just use double-sided tape But if you don't have that this is a way to do it if you just have the normal tape The next thing we're gonna wrap is this horrible coffee That's just not a perfect box anymore, but it's still pretty decently easy So you're just gonna like roll it into the wrapping paper so that you have enough of it then you're gonna fold the paper to make it look pretty, which I suggest you do with all of them, I didn't mention it before. And then again, you just tape it and you make sure that it's not loose because then it would look terrible. And then you have to make sure that you don't have too much wrapping paper underneath, but you can cut it if you see that there's too much of it. You just fold it like piece by piece and put it tightly like this. You can see it perfectly here. You just take piece by piece and you like fold it onto the gift and press it like tight against it so that there's no space between it and you just then tape it in place and it looks perfect like, this will not be so g good looking if you have too much of the wrapping paper but again you can cut it so bam we got another gift it looks awesome then how in the hell do we wrap a bottle i know that's pain in the ass so with bottles you can either do the classic put it into a bag because that's the easiest thing and then you can you know that person can reuse that bag and gift another bottle to someone else it's great you know ecological and stuff or you can try to wrap it which actually isn't that hard it's very similar to the coffee again you roll it in the wrapping paper to make sure that you have enough of it then you tightly wrap it around it again then you do the same thing you take piece by piece and like put it right on top of the gift and tape it in place and then the top you can like scrunch the paper a little bit and take the ribbon and s like wrap it around it and it's gonna create this like bonbon kind of top that actually looks really cute you can cut off any weird access like wonky looking paper and here you go it looks awesome and it's not that difficult then the last gift is if you have more tiny presents again you can put them in a bag and uh, yeah it's pretty self-explanatory if you just have a lot of them and you're sick of it you can just buy some bags and put the gifts inside it's the easiest thing you just have to buy something extra but I mean you've already spent a frick ton of money so <laughs> you probably could buy some more bags and yeah, those are all the ideas. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and that's it. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I really hope it helped you out. And good luck with wrapping all the gifts, and tell me in the comments down below if you already have all your gifts, or if you still have a lot of them to buy. And that's gonna be it. Have a brilliant day and see you tomorrow in another video. Bye!